Next, we're going to add a frame label to the new labels layer by entering a name into the frame label field in the property inspector. Frame labels are used to name a particular frame number. Now remember, layers are made up of a series of frames. You'll notice right now that we're on frame one, that's why this is highlighted in pink. We're going to change frame the the frame label of frame one of labels. So let's click on labels and get that highlighted. So you notice now that it's that the first frame is is black. The reason why we would want to name frame labels is because they can be referenced by action scripts. And that way you don't have to enter a number into your code which could make your code kind of cryptic. This way you can look at it and understand what what's being changed by your script. And frame labels move around just like the frames do. So if you take a frame and you put it somewhere else, the label will come with it. So what we want to do, as we've already done, we make sure that you've clicked the labels layer. Let's make sure that frame 1 is the one that's highlighted. It is, you know, as opposed to, say, out here at frame 10, that's not highlighted. Now go down to the properties inspector. If the properties inspector is not already expanded, expand it. In other words, if it looked like this, click it so it's open you'll notice there's something called frame label. So we'll click in that field and we're going to type home and hit enter. Now frame one of the layers or labels layer is now called home and you'll notice that, that there's a representation of a small red flag. Up here there's a little flag in here. When it's not highlighted it'll turn red. And that's how you know that that particular frame has a label. Next, let's lock the label layer by clicking the Lock Layer button. Now you'll notice, it's kind of obvious, there's a little lock here. And there's a dot below it on the layer. If we click on that, you'll notice that it is now locked. Locking layers is very useful when you want to control your selections and to avoid accidentally placing elements on the stage in a layer into which you do not want to enter new content. Now, why would you want to have that? Well, an example might be if you had a layer that contains code, uh, sometimes if you were to put graphic elements on top of code, it can create conflicts. So if you lock that layer, then you can't change it unless you are specifically deciding to change that layer. So that way you can avoid having uh, any problems. You can also change the visibility of a layer. Notice next to the little lock, there's a little eye. And the dot below that, if we click that dot, we can keep this particular layer from being visible. You notice that the little X is now under the eye, so that's how you know when something is, has been hidden. And of course, both of these things can be changed the same way as you first created them. Click it again, it is now visible. Click it again, it's now unlocked. And for now, let's keep the labels layer locked. Next we're going to create a layer folder by clicking the new layer folder button. Folders help you to organize your layers into related content. So first let's select the background layer. Then let's go to the create new layer folder button. We'll click that and you'll notice it creates something called folder one. Let's double click that and we're going to change the name of that to graphics. We'll hit enter. Just in case you can't see enough of your layers, you can always drag the screen elements around to make more room. Okay, now you'll notice that all of the all of the layers have the same the, the same kind of labels all lined up. Let's now click on background and then let's hold the mouse button down and let's drag it on top of the graphics folder and drop it there. Now you notice what happened. Background indented below it. What that tells you is that the background layer is now within the graphics layer folder. You'll also notice there's a little triangle over here which tells you that this folder is open. Click it and now the folder is hidden from view. So you can toggle it back and forth to just have open the ones you want to see. 
So if you've got it closed, let's let's click it and open it again so that we can see them all. Now again, you can make elements bigger. Right now we can't see the full label background, so let's stretch this out a bit so that we can see it. Now we can see all our elements again.